my response to people that see stand-up paddling as a negative thing um, just means they don't understand. Most people don't like change. It's, it's kind of human nature to fear or not like change or things you don't know about. So I just landed straight on my head. Uh, I went numb underwater. I thought it broke my back. Couldn't feel any of my body for about five seconds and then it changed and I got my feeling back and I came up. Not that you like to have them, but every now and then it's good to have a good one just to sort of give you a bit of a reality check and just to let you know who's the boss and it's definitely not you. <laughs> when you're on a boat for two weeks, any character flaws that a person has come out pretty quick. And if you got any issues with them, they will come up. The great thing about this trip is that it's one of the first of its kind to have this caliber of athlete. I think in the next couple of years, it's going to become one of those sports where anybody and everybody has a stand-up paddleboard in the garage and goes out and paddles. If you're a surfer, it's like the dream trip to, to spend two weeks on a boat in the mental eyes. It's such a solid crew that we have on this boat trip. I mean, if we get good waves, there's a good chance you're going to see something you've never seen before on a stand-up board. Um, I got a good feeling about this.